afternoon, guys. Patrick uh, Ludrava here. As you know, this is OHS time. And uh, today we've compiled our second batch of notes, guys. Uh, so, uh, first, uh, NEMA was a result of uh, private sector. Uh, private sector is a sector not doesn't include government. And government committees uh, from the parliament level and environmental NGOs. Uh, environmental NGOs, uh, it's, uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, Non-profit organizations yeah. and environmental specialists. Then uh, second, we have types of occupational stressors. We have chemical, physical, economic, uh, psychosocial, and biological. So on chemical, we have fumes and gases. Uh, fumes and gases are yeah, chemicals. And on physical, we have radiation and we have noise. And on uh, economic, we have improper lifting. And on psychosocial, we have bullying and victimization. And on biological, we have bacteria and parasites. And we have uh, occupational health conditions. Uh, occupational health conditions uh, it can either be an illness or, or an, an, an infection. And it will depend if it's an acute or chronic. An uh, acute illness, it's short term. And chronic, it's uh, long term illnesses. Uh, like illnesses that uh, do not heal. You have to like keep on drinking, taking your medication up and tip. Then next, we have benefits of economic and manual handling. Uh, economic and manual handling, and then yeah, they say the benefits of that is it increases uh, output and it increases uh, productivity. Uh, it reduces fatigue and it reduces injury and better use of uh, workers' skills. And then we have rules for safe use of ladders. Uh, the first one here we have, uh, they say, use correct ladder for the job. Uh, uh, this is very important. You must always know which ladder to use for a particular job because you can't be using incorrect letters for, 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 for a job. And don't leave tools on the ladder. Yeah, this is also very important. You don't leave tools on top of the ladder because once somebody maybe touches it or uh, the wind and maybe the tools might fall and they might find somebody on the ground and he might get hurt. So you don't leave tools on a ladder. And uh, keep the ladder clean. Yeah, so I think it's, it's also very important to keep your ladder clean because you don't want, uh, you can't be using a dirty ladder at a job because you might sleep because of uh, the untidiness of the ladder. And then here they say, do not leave a uh, ladder on wet ground. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think this is also very important because ladders are made out of steel objects and whatnot. And like if you leave it on the ground for a long period of time, it might get rust and uh, it might no longer uh, do uh, the job correctly. And uh, next here they say, do not contact electricity with all the ladders. Yeah, they say, no electricity. Don't contact electricity with alloy ladders because alloy is a, is a form of steel, so you can't be contacting electricity with steel because if you do that, you are bound to get shocked, guys. Uh, and here they say another one, never leave a ladder where it may fall. Mm, yeah, you can't leave a ladder where it may fall because a ladder must always be after uh, use of a ladder. I think uh, the best way to, to, to place it, just put, place it down on the floor and just put it down. Don't put it upright where, it may, may, where someone might tip it and it might fall over. So I think the best way to like, uh, leave a letter, just put it down on the floor and uh, leave it where someone, where people are going to be able to see it and they won't trip and fall. Mm, yeah, guys, yeah. As yes, I'm going to prepare myself for our second batch of notes. Yeah. 
Uh, welcome back, guys. Yeah, as you know, Patrick Lebron again. And, yeah, yeah, for our second batch of notes, guys. Employed as an employee. Yeah. Everyone who yeah, is sure. employed by an uh, welcome back, guys. Employ yeah, you know, by an employer. Yeah. And yeah, for our uh, second picture of notes, guys, and other people on the board, means a source yeah, of yeah, exposure to employment. Employment to something that you need. Employment is employed by an employer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Employment is employed by an employer. Yeah, it's also yeah, when you are exposed to something that my yeah. 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 Uh, 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 in terms of section 19, 19, 19 of the OHS Act. Then we have health and safety representative. Health and safety representative from India or India. In terms of section 19. For uh, uh, safety representative to occupational courses. Uh, 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 in terms of section 19 of the OHS Act. And then we have health completed uh, in section twenty four. Health is being free from weakness or danger. Then you have uh, attributed or attributed to occupational causes to in section seventeen. And then next we have incident. Incident is six at number twenty eight. Incident has completed in section twenty four. The inspector is a person designated uh, under section 28 of the OHS Act. Then we have the Mr. Work. Mr. Work means any work declared to be listed work under section 28 of the OHS Act. Then next we have the inspector. Inspector is a person designated under section 28 of the OHS Act. Then we have the inspector. Yeah, that's the least. And then we have Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg means any work declared to be in the work under section 28. And then next to have save. Save means free from any material or anything that is required or damage will occur. Free from the best material. And then we next to have some things. Substances include engineering, 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 then we have uh, like major incident machinery being used for occurrence of catastrophic proportions resulting from the use of next we have near miss or from activities uh, near miss uh, means any well, any unforeseen uh, event uh, involving one or more other uh, events uh, and like a near miss uh, like, uh, uh, must be reported immediately uh, uh, at a workplace uh, or at your website or uh, anywhere uh, where one is. Uh, uh, if you encounter a new myth, uh, then you must be reported immediately uh, to the uh, representatives and uh, the CEOs. Uh, uh, must be reported immediately. Uh, at the uh, website or on site emergency uh, plan. If you encounter on site emergency plan means the emergency plan contemplated in regulation seats of the OHS. Your representatives or, and then, uh, last but not least, we have uh, risk uh, assessment. Uh, risk assessment uh, means the process contemplated in the regulation uh, site. On site emergency plan. Mm, yeah, this is a good thing. Yeah, means the emergency plan contributed in the Commission's system, which is at. And then, last but not least, we have risk assessment. 
Risk assessment means the process contemplated in the Revolution 5 of the OHS Act. Uh, yeah, this is about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to compile uh, our next batch of notes. Uh, goodbye for now. <laughs>